Here we have some logarithms, and we've been asked to either expand or simplify them. Um, to expand or simplify a logarithm, you want to use one of the logarithm rules. Um, so we've written down some of the rules over here. We have the, the rule that applies to the sum of two logs when you're adding two logs. Um, here's a rule when you're subtracting two logs. And then there's a rule that applies to when you have an exponent inside of a logarithm. Um, make note that each of these rules only applies for logarithms with the same base. So if you have a logarithm of base 3 plus a logarithm of base 4, then you can't use these rules here. Um, but in our case, like this one here, we have a log base 6, log base 6. So since it has the same base, we can use the rules. Um, the first one asks us to expand this logarithm, so it means like to split it up. Um, this involves a power. We have 5 to the third, so we want to use this log of a power rule. This rule says if you have the log of some number to an exponent, this exponent can be taken out in front as a multiplier. So that means that we can take this 3 and put it out front and do 3 times the log, same base, base 2, of 5. So you don't change the base of the log. All you do is you take the exponent, and it can come out front as a multiplier. So this would be considered the expanded logarithm. The second one asked us to simplify, and we have two logs that are being subtracted. They have the same base, um, so that means we can use this rule here, the difference of two logs. The difference of two logs rule says that if you're subtracting two logs with the same base, you could rewrite it as one logarithm, and you just write it as the quotient of these two numbers. So the one that's listed first is going to be your numerator. So it's still going to be log base 6. The base does not change. So I'll take this first one here. That's going to be the numerator of the fraction inside the log. And then the second one is your denominator. So you could rewrite it as the log base 6 of x over 7. And then that would be simplified into one logarithm. This last one here asks us to expand the log. And we have a product inside of the logarithm. So the rule that we're going to want to use is this top one here. If I have a product, um, two things here inside of the logarithm, I can split it up into two different logs. So I'll do the log of the first one plus the log of the second one. Um, the base stays the same, so these are both going to be base 3 logs. So log base 3 of 8 plus log base 3 of x. And so that would be considered the expanded version of the logarithm.